It's just like getting more like military knowledge and like what's happened within like the past of the military, like obviously before I was born and that. And it's just getting like, learn about the history of like just everything that's happened and that. It's obviously it's such like a significant thing to learn about. And, yeah, I'm quite into that stuff, so yeah, I really love it. Uh, I'm from Woking, which is in Surrey. Uh, I am 16 years old. So far, it's so good. We come to Normandy to uh, learn about the D-Day landings. Yeah, like, we're here to like just learn about it, like the history about it, which is I think is really interesting. Obviously, it's something I've wanted to do as well, so it's quite cool. On this trip, I've learned the significance of all this, how much preparation there was for this, the weapons and that, how they're all used. Yeah, it's really cool. Once I finish in Harrogate, uh, I'm going to join the Army Air Corps as a ground crew specialist. Obviously, I've always wanted to join the Army, so getting like opportunities to come visit places and that, so yeah, it's really good. Like, I just want to travel the world and stuff like that, and then obviously the Army is all about opportunities and that, so fingers crossed I get to travel the world a bit more. But yeah, obviously, uh, I'm from down south, and Harrogate is up north, so it's quite a far away for me, but uh, off the, first, the first week I was quite a bit homesick because it's the first time I've been away from like, my parents and that, so... Yeah, it was tough at first, but now, like, in my section, we're all, like, one big family, like, we all joke around, we have good laughs, and, yeah, we're all good friends, like, in the platoon as well, we're all, like, quite close to each other, so, yeah, it's really nice. So we're here on Exercise Lion Spirits in the beautiful Normandy sunshine. This is a package really well put on by the Educational Training Services officers here at the Army Foundation College and it's a five day package of which junior soldiers get a brilliant exposure and experience of uh, the Normandy landings uh, and really get to understand a bit more about the D-Day conflict 70 years ago. We've got a very good tour guide and bus team that take us around loads of different locations in Normandy and for that they learn lots about the history, for example, looks at the Merville Battery onto Pegasus Bridge and then we're going on to some beaches as well so they learn a real mixture about the uh, Normandy invasion in 1944. These guys are only nine or ten weeks into training. This is a really good exposure for them to see the, the realities of war. So teaching the realities of war, you know, as a child growing up I saw all the world films, I read the Commando comics and everything like that, but however, actually, the reality of war is the fact that we could lose lives in it. So we use history and what happened here in Normandy on the 6th of June, relate it to what the permanent staff have used on operations, what I've experienced on operation as a a skeleton to hang lots of information on so it becomes real for the junior soldiers. I 
try a lot of different things and if it's working I keep it going next week with a different group I might have to do a different tact I, I massively see a change in I start this off this exercise with saying this is your first operational deployment they're actually going overseas so we're taking them from one location back in the UK their base camp with all their equipment and we're taking them overseas to a foreign country which is like I would deploy and the permanent staff would deploy we see that change with them because I use the medium of films TV series of Band of Brothers Saving Private Ryan they've all seen that and even computer games because if I can relate what they've seen on the TV and played on the computer game so actually what's happening here on these beaches or on the DZ then that paints a massive picture for them and you actually now see them start to realize what a massive deployment this is and actually what a fantastic job in a way I'm going to in the future. I'm 16 and I'm from Somerset and it's, yeah, it's my first time abroad so it's kind of it's a new experience. I am enjoying the journey yeah there are times where it's hard because obviously I live very far away but uh, it's yeah it's good. I went up to Harrogate nervous because I was obviously leaving all my family and friends behind um, but you surprisingly find and make friends at Harrogate like quick like really quick and um, you do settle in quite quickly as well yeah. I'm kind of in awe yeah especially that the fact that they were so young as well at like 19 eight years of age. It will definitely drive me on yeah it's definitely inspiring and it'll help me. I've definitely gotten better at uh, persevering through stuff, definitely. When I was back at home, I used to kind of like get annoyed at myself if I couldn't do something. Now, being at Harrogate, it's just, yeah, I've learned to deal with it and, yeah, persevere through. It's an immense honour and privilege to do it because the British Armed Forces is based on tradition and heritage and everything like that. And at this level now, we're introducing to core values core ethos and stuff like that so we're doing that and we're getting them to get into it and what I'm doing is building up to 20 year careers they've got and if we get it right at the beginning and they know where they've come from they'll know where they're going in the future. Yeah we've been able to see a massive amount of change actually um, as, you, as you said when they first arrived they're very nervous not very sure of themselves and then now yeah, nearly three months later um, their confidence is up much better, their bearing is better, they seem to, ha seem to have a bit more uh, confidence about their person as well and it's a really amazing change. That's something that we want to develop over the package of something like exercise line spirits.